Hello everyone, this is Kate Pizza with PML and in this video I'm about to show you the remake of the main synth from Muramasa's track called Firefly. So for this purpose we're going to be using Serum as the only device and the preset of the synth uh, will be linked in the description and this is what we're going to be making. So all right, let's uh, insert a new audio track and loop this part so that we have a beat going on in the background. I will just quickly copy the MIDI file uh, to the new track. The MIDI file is in the file in the description, so don't worry, you can just take it from there. These are the notes. If you want to input the notes yourself, uh, and let's start making the main synth. So for this purpose I'm going to use Serum. Alright, so let's leave the first oscillator as it is. Uh, let's crank the unison to 4. Let's detune it slightly less. Uh, let's turn on the B oscillator, change it to Evil Long Reese from Digital. Let's crank the unison to 3 and let's detune it less. Next thing uh, let's look at the first envelope. Let's set a higher attack for it, uh, like 180, something around this. And the longer release time as well, so 170. Uh, let's go to the second envelope and let's set this one to 160 and the release to around 50. Let's map it to the cutoff filter. Let's turn on the B oscillator so that both of these oscillators go through the filter. Let's turn it on, first of all. And let's bring it up, the cutoff. Let's take a look at the third envelope and leave it as it is. Map it to the cutoff as well. And let's hear what the synth sounds like by now. We're playing both of these tracks, so the beat and the synth. Now let's turn on the noise oscillator and bring down the level just a tiny bit. Sounds good. Uh, let's go to the effects tab. Let's turn on chorus uh, to widen the sound a little bit. Turn down the mix a little bit. So next thing, let's throw a reverb, bring down the mix. And let's throw an EQ in there. Let's cut some of the low end. Turn down EQ, frequency down, somewhat like this. And let's cut some frequencies around this frequency. Let's take the gain down just a tiny bit. Alright, so we have the main synth, but in the track there is also a bass playing. So let's duplicate this track, selecting it and clicking Command D. Go into the clip view, delete all of the high notes to leave only the root notes. I will just make these notes longer. All right, so let's go into the synth, turn off the B oscillator, turn off the noise and the effects, uh, change the oscillator to, to the analog sine wave, uh, turn down the unison a little bit, hear what it sounds like. Uh, if you can't hear it, then you have to wear headphones to hear 
the base frequencies properly. Yeah, let's bring down the attack just a tiny bit and bring up the release time. All right, uh, let's throw a distortion in there. Uh, and let's set it like this, the filter. Just a little bit more drive. Let's hear what both of these synths sound like with the beat. This is pretty similar to what we initially wanted to do. So, yeah. Um, the only thing is that there are minor tweaks to do. Maybe Muramasa used another oscillator. Maybe I don't exactly know the notes of the chords, but it's more or less the same synth. So, thank you very much for watching. This is Kate Pizza bringing you a tutorial on how to make the synth from Muramasa's track called Firefly. And another quick thing I wanted to mention that I'm giving private lessons. So, if you guys want to make some music with me one on one, there will be a link in the description so that you guys can sign up.